Today I'm going to talk about how to make $150 per day profit and the number one traffic source for affiliate marketers who are just starting out and have a low budget. If you're looking for ways to make money online and affiliate marketing is appealing to you, then this video is going to show you the realities of getting traffic quickly to affiliate offers and how you can start doing this for yourself. I'm gonna show you some evidence that this actually works and you're gonna learn about other strategies on how to improve your, your odds of getting profitable campaigns. So my name is Joey Babineau. I've been an affiliate marketer since 2002. I left the corporate job in 2015 to do this full time. And now I have been doing this for a living for almost a decade now as an affiliate marketer. So I have a lot of experience in that regard. I do a lot of videos on affiliate marketing. If that's interesting to you, subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get started. So let's go in my computer. We're gonna show you a sample here of a campaign that I just started. And we're gonna talk about search ads today. Search ads is probably the easiest way for people to get started as affiliate marketers. We're gonna talk about some specific traffic sources and a strategy that you can start doing today whether you're a complete newbie or an expert, this is going to be some information that is helpful in getting better results from your campaigns. So let's go in here and do that now. So as you can see here, there is one offer I'm running here as an example, where I have 136 clicks to the actual affiliate offer, and I got 38 conversions for an insane conversion rate of over 27.9%. That resulted in a $12 EPC plus and a revenue of $1,672. And the ad costs on that result in about $150 a day in profit for the last seven days. So how am I doing it? What am I doing? And how can you start doing something similar? Let's get started. So the first step here is obviously as an affiliate, we need to pick offers. And since we're gonna be using search ads here, and since we're gonna talk about Microsoft ads in general today, then we're gonna pick offers that appeal to an older demographic. And later when we wanna scale this to even higher numbers where we're talking 10 times this volume, then we're gonna take it to a place like Google search ads or Facebook or even TikTok. Now, if you are watching this and you already have Google accounts and you wanna learn more about Google accounts and how I have affiliate offers like this running on a uh, Google ads, then check out the link down in the description for the 30 day Google ads challenge where we've done a complete course on Google ads, but I'm going to show the strategy here right now. So basically what we need to do again is pick an offer that appeals to our older demographic since we're going to be going with Microsoft search ads. Now, if you don't know what Microsoft search ads are, basically when you go to bing.com and you search for anything here like skincare, then you're going to find a bunch of ads available on this search engine. Basically, you'll see here at the top, we have some results. Here's an ad here, anti-aging skincare for 40s, the ultimate skincare routine, a whole bunch of other ads available that you'll see as you scroll down. Now, another really cool way to spy is to actually take this domain name here from one of these ads, say lima.life, and you bring it into a tool like uh, SEM rush and you can start seeing all of the keywords that they're they're bidding on and all of their ads and all of that stuff this is a great spy tool for search ads if you're on a tight budget you can use the 14 day free trial that we have available at powerhouseaffiliate.com slash SEM rush the links down in the description or you can buy their pro membership and you can get access to even more tools over here you can see on the left side a whole bunch of different tools even advertising spying tools <clears throat> basically that's the first step is finding an offer so where do you get that offer if you come to a place like max web you can see here they have a whole bunch of different offers available they have e-commerce they have dating dental diabetes hair health a whole bunch of offers that really appeal to our target here of the older demographic and so we're gonna go with skin and beauty today and anti-aging because I have some data that I wanna share with you and show you how this can be possible to get a real high earnings per click as well as a decent conversion rate. So as you can see here on Max Web, they give us the numbers. They tell us that, you know, this offer, if you get 100 clicks to the offer, 3.28 of those people will convert on average. So a 3.28 conversion rate. So these numbers matter when we're picking an offer because we want something that has a decent conversion rate. And we also 
kind of want something with a high earnings per click, but you're going to notice that your own earnings per click is what really matters. But these are numbers that we can use to start planning our campaign. So we know that on average 3.28 and a 2.95 conversion rate. So what can we do with this? How can we plan our campaign? Well, what we need to do now is figure out, is this going to work for us based on some of the information we have? So one of the cool tools that we have inside powerhouseaffiliate.com is our media buying spreadsheet calculator here that helps plan prior to running ads. And I'm just gonna explain it quickly. As you can see here, we have the offer, which we're gonna try Revisil. The source is going to be Max Web. Traffic source will be Microsoft Ads. And over here in these three, or in, in these boxes that are green, these are numbers that we have um, some control over. These are the numbers that we're going to change here. And I'm gonna explain it. So the average commission that we're getting on this offer is $90. And you can see here that on average, the conversion rate from the network is 3.28. We're gonna try and get that better through our own marketing expertise, which we're gonna talk about here in a second on how we can improve that conversion rate. Now, we can guess that if we buy a thousand clicks, uh, this is what we'll, we'll base our estimate on. A thousand clicks from our ads, and we're going to assume we have a landing page click-through rate of 40% with a cost per click of a dollar a dollar and eight cents. Now, the reason why I know the cost per click rate now is because I've already ran this. Let me just show you an example here inside the Microsoft ad account. So inside Microsoft ads, you set up search ads. You can see here that this is a search ad campaign that was ran and the average cost per click was $1.45 Canadian. Okay, that's average cost per click. Now $1.45 Canadian works out to $1.08 US. So we're talking $1.08 US per click is what we're guessing is going to be the average cost if we go into this niche market. Now, the only reason why we know that is because I'm giving you that data, okay? Unless, if you don't have that data, you have to actually just take a guess and hope for the best. Or you can use a tool like SEM Rush, which kind of gives you an estimate when you go into their tool, they'll tell you how much you can expect to, uh, to, to pay per click when you're in the United States or any other country for that matter. But here we go. So based on the information we have, <clears throat> back to my chart here, we can assume that the cost for a thousand clicks is going to be a thousand and eighty dollars. We're going to get 400 clicks to the offer because our landing page click through rate is going to be 40%. So if we send a thousand people to our landing page, 40, uh, 400 people are going to click to the offer. And of those 400 people, 3.28% are going to convert for 13 conversions, giving us a revenue of $1,180 for a profit of $100. Now you're like, whoa. That's not really good. That's only like an 8.5% profit margin. Like what's going on here? Well, this is how we start. Now we, now, as I said earlier, we have control over these metrics. We can change this. We can make this even better for our profit margin. And one of the things we need to first consider is that once you start sending traffic to an affiliate offer, Typically, most networks are going to give you a payout bump. A lot of the offers that you're getting are street payouts. So in many cases, you're going to, you could probably negotiate a 10% higher payout on a, on a lot of these offers. So let's just assume that you got this to a $100 payout on that offer. That brings your profit margin up to 17.6% for a profit of 232. Now I know for a fact that with a good landing page, and you, uh, something that has a, a high click-through rate, it's going to get you more clicks to the offer. If you can change your marketing angle and make it so that you can get your click-through rate to say 45%, you can see again, we're bringing up our profit again to 26% profit margin, almost 27% profit margin here based on these estimates. Now, another strategy is to get your cost per click down. Now, one, there's a few ways to get your cost per click down here. And one way is to target different countries other than the United States. For example, if we went to Canada, we could probably drop this cost per click down to 95 cents, bringing our profit margin up even more. But let's just keep it at $1.08 for now, just for the example here. 
And there's other ways we can bring our cost per click down by finding different angles. So this is where AI comes in. So you've uh, likely heard of ChatGPT. Here's an example of how we can find new keyword ideas and new angles to reduce our cost per click. For example, what problems are people facing who would need to buy Revizil? And you can see here ChatGPT gives me the answer. They want to solve these problems. Wrinkles and fine lines, dull and uneven skin tone, dryness and loss of hydration, firmness, elasticity, age spots. All of these are keywords we could potentially bid on to bring down our cost per click by not doing the obvious. So we're looking at problems people have and our landing page is going to solve those problems and offer a solution to that problem, which is the product we're promoting. And that is how you get super high click-through rates on your landing page and high conversion rates as well on the offer you're promoting. So I did some more research and did some spying and another tool I use to spy on this type of stuff, even though this is a native ads spy tool, if you look at some of the landing pages, you can find some really highly aggressive landing pages just by using a tool like Adplexity. And you can come in here and start spying on these landing pages. And so if you're wondering how to build landing pages and all that stuff, check out our courses at powerhouseaffiliate.com or just search this channel. And you can see here, this is the exact type of landing page you could probably get a 50% click-through rate on just for anti-aging skincare products because everything is above the fold. It's a really quick hit and boom, it's a watch now button. And the beauty of this is that even on Max Web, a lot of these offers are video sales letters. So when you go to this offer, it's going to send your customers to a video that they need to watch. And so you can really get your click-through rates really high by doing this. Um, and the reason why we're choosing Microsoft ads for this is because their terms of service are a little more lenient on affiliate marketers versus Google. If you wanna take this whole strategy to Google and scale it by five to 10 times, you need to really up your game on compliance. And that is what our course covers on the 30 day challenge on how affiliates can be compliant on Google ads. But if you're just starting out and you're a newbie or you just wanna test a few different strategies, then Microsoft Ads is a better option, I find, for, for that, because you can do things that you can't normally do on Google Ads. So now you've got the strategy. You're basically creating a landing page. You're picking an offer. You're, you're picking something, if you're doing on Microsoft, you're picking an offer that is catered to an older demographic. Once you do that, you're gonna try and find some landing pages. Again, you can do manual searches on Microsoft or, or on Bing.com. You can do manual searches on Google. You can find other people's strategies. You can use spy tools like Adplexity or SEM Rush. <clears throat> You've got your landing page built. Now it's time to set up your campaign. When you're setting your campaign up, if you wanna limit your spend, then just choose a few keywords to start with, get the traffic rolling and start seeing what your numbers actually are. By using this media buying spreadsheet, you can start planning and tweaking certain things and it gives you a better idea of what you need to change in your campaign to make this a profitable endeavor. So if you start getting clicks on your landing page, but you realize only 10% are clicking through your landing page, then you know that that's gonna bring your profit margin down and you're actually going to be losing money. So if you bring your landing page click-through back up, you can see it brings us back into profit. Again, things we can control, cost per click, we can control that by targeting different keywords that not everyone is bidding on, trying different countries, and even trying different angles. Again, you can adjust your commission. This is something you can negotiate and your conversion rate can highly depend on your marketing angles and you can use tools like ChatGPT to improve your conversion rates. Now, that's a lot of information to pack into one video on how to generate profits using search ads. If you want more information, I have a complete playlist on Google. Check that out, I'll pop that up and put the links in the description. Also check out the description for other links to our other content that is related to this. If you have other questions or if you think I skipped out on some information, 
Feel free to ask questions down below or join us in the forum at powerhouseaffiliate.com. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and click the like button and we'll see you next time.